Ami et Palel. Adonai, Ami mit Palel lecha. Bnei Yisrael, hem lo yachlu la lechet itcha. Hem azvu otcha. Ach ata natata lanu lev acher lev. Shomea, ten lanu, ki anachnu nelech itcha kol hayamim. Be Shem Yeshua. Amen. So this is our last hour of TPR. Um, I'll tell you what we're doing next week later, but this is it. So we'll do we'll do both Nif Al and then later heat pile verbs, which are the other two being in him that we haven't looked in depth at. So Nif Al verbs are verbs that sound like Nilcham Nilachet. To fight is Nif Al. According to the chart, you know, about how it charts the meanings to different being in him, Nif Al is passive of pa'al, if there is a pa'al verb. If there's not, then you can expect it won't be passive, like nilcham is not passive, okay? And actually, most of the flashcards that you'll learn this next week be nifal verbs, they're not passive. Um, all right, go. Nilcham yilachem. Yosef, kach et acher. Miriam, ma Yosef yaase? Who yilachem? Beni yilachem Yosef? Who yilachem bedavi? Lama. Lama. Lama hem yilachemu. Ah, Yosef who yilachem be David, ki enenu ohev et David. Yosef. Yosef. Ah, David who yilachem be Yosef, ki yesh lo cherev. Aha. Tov. Yosef, kum, David, kum. Lehat lehat. Yosef, Yosef, ilachem, David, ilachem. Ma David ose ata? Ah, ata hu nilcham. Hu nilcham. Ma Yosef ose? Gam Yosef. Nilcham. Huh. Yared. Mi Nilcham? Yosef. The David. Mm-hmm. Hem. Ah. Atara. Ma hem osim. Hem Nilcham. Nilcham. Mi. Hem Nilchamim. Shelly, ha Yosef nilcham be Shaul? Lo, um, lo Yosef nilcham in Shaul. Aha, aha. Yael, be mi Yosef nilcham? Aha, to. Oh, ata hu nilcham, ma hu ose hu nilcham, ve hu nilcham hem ata participle nilchamim. In 
Hindu, Shubu or Shubu. Oh. 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 Yosef, Haro get Baru. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, 
Mishareem. Aha. Arba Akbasim Nisharim Al Hashurchan. Yeshli Shne Kabasim Anilokeach Od Shne Kabasim Elisheba Kama Kabasim Nisharim Al Hashurchan Ata Aha do. Ah, Miriam. Mm -hmm. Ani atzave, Gdol, uh -huh. atzave et kol hatalmidim lakum. Ah, ani atzave le yered shev oh. al hakise. Oh. Rak yered yishaer. Al Hakisek. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Baruch. Pni Yishaer Al Hakisek. Yered Yishaer. Uh huh. Al Hakisek. Uh huh. Mm. Uh -huh. Talmidim Kumu. Yered Chef. Uh huh. Sheli. Me. Oh. Nish ar al hakise. Nish ar. Nish ar al hakise. Al hakise. Karen, lama yered nish ar al hakise. Shabbat 
מי נלחם? אה, נלחם. אהה. אהה. הם נלחמו. שאול, מי נרדם? מי נשאר על רגליים? ורד? אש נרדם על רגליים? הוא נרדם על רגליים? לא נרדם על רגליים. לא בז... רגליים בז... אני חושבת איך לעשות את זה בפרסנטנס, ואני מנסה להתחיל. אז אני לא חושבת שאני חושבת. אה, טוב. עוד פעם. אה, מי נשאר על נשאר את הטל על רגליים? נשאר, אש נשאר. אה, אה, האש נשאר על רגליים, אתה? לא, אתה. אה, איננו נשאר, הוא נשאר.
Yesh Dagesh Yam Ain Dagesh Yom Yom Yamim Yam Yamim Bemet Itai. This is probably a stupid question, but I'm still going to ask it. <laughs> is, uh, so Yam is singular, Yamim is plural, but is there a difference between like, let's say a lake, or like how big does the area of water oh. have to be, and does, is like an ocean, would that be considered like Yamim, or would that still be just Yam? Mm. Well, they call the Mediterranean Sea Yam Gadol. Okay. Oh, Ha, ha Yam Ha Gadol. Okay. Ha Yam Ha Gadol. So I'm pretty sure they didn't have a word for ocean. Or is it all yum? Yeah. I don't know. Would they have a different from lake? Um yeah. it, in modern Hebrew they do have a different word for lake, agam. Agam does show up in the Old Testament. Exactly if it's a sea versus lake distinction. Um, but I, I do assume yam bigger, agam smaller. Yes. What, what would you say Yamim then? I don't know, yeah. Genesis 17. I mean, was it that so? I guess. It's it's like, is that referring more to plural, like seas? Like, yeah. you want to say a group of lakes or something yeah. like that? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Rav Chovel. Rav Chovel. Oh, Rav Chovel. Uh -huh. <laughs> David, Habaruch 
Malach o Rav Chovel. Aha, to Yechiel, mi Rav HaChovel? Rav HaChovel. Rav HaChovel. Aha, Esh, ma Yered, Kahu Rav Chovel o Malach? Malach. Aha, the Hu Malach. Ah, the Yesh are Malachim, the Malachim Shvu, Shvu Baonia. Malachim, Sure, just a little bit bigger. Ah, dog. Ah, dog. Oh. Surf and turf. Shish, Elisheva, Yesh Lach, Sechar Haonia, Kumi, Sheli, Yesh Lach, Sechar Haonia, Yesh Nekesh, Kumi, David, Kum, To, Sechar Haonia. Lavo el Tarshish Hasakar Shne Kasef David Bo el Baruch Yesh Lecha A Sakar Haonia Animo de la Ah Talmidim Yarkete It's the, the rear parts I'm going to say Yarkete Ha Sfina. Sfina, some people think it's the same, it's just another synonym for Onia, like ship versus boat. What's the distinction there? Oh. Right? In English, at least for me, it's pretty much a complete overlap ship versus boat. <laughs> um, is this one of the things? Or, because um, this, I believe it's. In Jonah, it's the only time it's ever used. No. Yarkate Hasfina is where Jonah goes down to. Yeah. Um, the other thought is actually that uh, Hasfina refers to like the hold of the boat or something, whatever that means. <laughs> and then Yarkate is the rear parts of that. Mm. Okay? The cargo. Um. David, Natata le Rab ha Chovel, Sechar ha Onia. Bo ba Onia, El ha Onia. Bo. Ah, Shev, Shev be Yarkete. Aha. David Yoshev be Yarkete haspina. Sheli, Boi. Yesh lach sechar haonia. Aha, boi. Redi el yarkete haspina. Bruce Bruce. Eli Sheva. Boi el raha haver. Yesh lach. Sechar HaOnia. Don't give her any wine. We don't need any lobsters. Ready? You know how to say don't give her any wine. Lo 
תלמידים, תלמידים. is an amazingly broad term. Wow. Yes. To, um, its most common usage is some kind of container. Anything that you can put something else in could be a kli, okay? Um, like David's shepherd's pouch where he grabbed the rock out of is his kli. Um, say kli. זה כלי גדול, זה כלי קטון. אלה כלים. Turns out it can also refer to jewelry, and it can also refer to weapons. Like without any other, without any other kind of descriptive terms, כלים could refer to somebody's weapons. What's the male accessory? <laughs> What's that? Female accessories, male accessories. Right, yeah. yes. Accessory, I like it. Ah, yes. So. Yeah. David, Vesheli, Veelisheva, Yoshvim, Im Hakelim. David, Kach et Hakli Hagadol. Ah, parem et hakli hagador. Ah, teniach et hakli hagador. Elisheba, kachi et hakli hakaton. Ah, parimi et hakli hakaton. Kach lechem. A kachi lechem. Yes, lechem. Simi et hale. לא אמרתי, לא אמרתי. היא שמה את הלחם בתוך הכלי הקטון ואני לא אמרתי. homework anyway. Lichiot 
Rav HaChovel? Elisheba, mi Rav HaChovel? Baruch or Yosef? Baruch. Ah, 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 Baruch Rav HaChovel. Atara, mi Chafetz lehiot Rav HaChovel? Yosef. So Yosef, Chafetz lehiot Rav HaChovel. Ma Yosef? Ya aset, who ye lachem? Ah, Baruch. Ah, La le rab ha kovel o la malach. Aha. Do. Aha. Yesh la hem dagim. Yosef. He la hem bedag. Baruch he la hem bedag. Yere. At me. Ata Ohev. Ata Ohev at Rav HaKovel o at Yosef. Ohev. Ohev. Ah, to. Im, im ata Ohev. It doesn't always have to be love, especially not in a romantic sense. It can just be here, like. Okay? Which side are you on? It doesn't yeah. mean that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, Baruch. Huh. Oh! Who the Baruch? Aha! Oh, dog? Aha! the dogs. He lachem, be Yosef. Behem, be a farim. David, hem nilchamim ve'ata nishar ve'yarkete ha'sfina. Et mi ata ohev. Ata ohev et Baruch o et Yosef. Baruch. Yosef, who chafetz lichiot rab hachovel, ata hu rak malach. Et mi ata ohev, et hamalach. Oh, oh, talini, talini. Ata Shaul nishar al habat. Mahu yaase, hu yakum, ve hu yilachem, ve yosef. Yes, I'm sure. Shalom. Tachorim. What's that? Tachorim. I mean that that's um that's a butt boo boo. That's a hemorrhoid. And I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Shaul, he lachem be Yosef. Watch out for us now here in the room. Whoa! Yeah, Baruch be Shaul be David. Kulam nilchamim be Yosef. Ach Yosef. Who lo met? Who chai? Karen, inena chafetza lahi lachem. Lo, he chafetza leheradem. Herademi, sheli. Haat chafetza 
Lehilachem o Laheradem. Elisheva Haat Hafetza Lehilachem o Laheradem. Oh, the he hafetza le heradem. Heradamim. The strange ship. Hanyahim. Hanyahim. Kol ha anashim. Ma hem o sin. Kol ha anashim. Ma hem o sin. Ha anashim. Nilham 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 Oh Nilhamim Hem Nilhamim Ma Kol Ha Nashim O Sot Yechiel Ma Kol Ha Nashim O Sot Kol Ha Nashim Ha Hem Nilhamot O Nir Damot Ah, do Karen near Demet, in Yosef near Dam. No, 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 Oh, 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 oh,
כל האנשים נרדמו עם הדגים. This will show up later. Hit palel means to pray. It is a hit pael verb like hit halech. According to the chart, it's the hit pael verbs that are supposed to be reflexive. But this really often doesn't work, uh, especially if there is no pael verb. There is no pael verb halal. Um, so reflexive is something like I dressed. I got dressed this morning, like I dressed myself. It's something you do to yourself, right? Or, or I bathed myself, right? I also, I, I work for a group home, and so sometimes I bathe the residents, right? right. Um, that would not be heat, heat pael. To bathe yourself would be heat pael. Anyway, but this one, it's not reflexive uh, at all. And so, so anyway, um, and you wouldn't even expect it to work if there is no pael. There is no pael, it doesn't work. Um, okay, um, we, we did quite a bit of Jonah vocabulary. A uh, few words that we didn't do, I mean, I did talk about spina. It occurs one time in the whole Hebrew Bible. Here it is, the rear parts of the spina. What is that? Is that just another synonym for onia, or does it refer to a specific part of the onia? Um, Ah, sa'ar. Storm. Yeah. Storm. The perfect sa'ar. <laughs> Hetil, yatil, uh, is synonym to hishlich. Um, exactly what the distinction is. So it gets translated like pearl or something. So I'm pretty sure you can, you can hishlich something pretty nonchalantly, but I'm also pretty sure you cannot etil something nonchalantly, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Does that lead you to like a from the ship? Etil gets used um, quite a few mm -hmm. times, actually, yeah. as we'll okay. see next hour. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much any kind of throwing action that you know of in Jonah, etil is the word that's used. Oh, okay. Hekal yakel is a hefeel verb. Kal, kal means light. So um, the binyan pa'al, actually most people refer to it as kal because it's the one binyan that doesn't add a, a consonant to the verbal root. Okay, so it's called light. Um, so this means to make something light. What's kind of surprising is that to cause a state is PL. To cause an action is he feel. But this, cause something to be light, a state of light, is not PL, but it's he feel. What's the picture? I'm, I'm trying to make a break into feathers. I don't know. OK. Yeah, that's what it's like. So to lighten, to make something light. <laughs> oh. This is a synonym to nas yanus. Uh, exactly what the distinctions are. So this means to, to flee, run away. Um, pretty awesome picture. <laughs> Shachav yishchav. This means to lie down. So in the Shema, beshoch becha, uvekumecha. So when you lie, when you lie down, is shachav yishchav. It's just, it's a pa'al verb. And now, later on, okay, let's break up. Chashav yachshov means to think. So Eli thinks that Anna is a drunken woman, um, even though she's praying. Um, so that's to think. The word, 
the word in Jonah is not actually pa'al to think, it's piel chishav. What exactly the distinction is, we can talk about. But uh, enjoy a 10 minute break. Uh, <laughs> yeah.